the day before the wedding, um, I was so annoyed by the fact that they were saying, the royals were saying it was a private occasion, but then um, inviting all these dreadful ambassadors. So Peter Tatchell and I and the Bahrain camp, the Justice for Bahrain campaign, we had an illegal demonstration outside the palace the day before, and we just turned up, and we just unrolled posters, um, stood in front of the gates and in front of the world's press and said, you know, please don't invite torturers and murderers to your wedding. And that was a really, really good point, because we were saying it's not a public occasion, and they don't have to have these people there. They don't have to have <coughs> representatives of, this, of Saudi Arabia who are occupying Bahrain. Bahrain is torturing people, they've only just disinvited the, the ambassador and so on. Um, that actually, I looked on websites and the pictures from that and some of us talking were, was hugely widely reported because I think there is actually a thirst for a different kind of discourse which actually reflects something other than this kind of fawning sycophancy that, that they get. Mm -hmm. And I think it is worth going after the BBC and asking why they had so many reporters covering the royal wedding. They have more, more people covering events like that than they do famines and wars, which is, which is an extraordinary reflection of, of their values. Anyway, I'm conscious that I was only supposed to speak for 10 minutes, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll start winding up now. But I think that the wedding was a, an, an extraordinary moment because I think it's one of those times when a lot of ordinary people start to feel that they're not, their views are not being represented. I mean, after I did the, the, the Newsnight discussion, I got loads of emails, um, and people kept coming up to me, and people kept saying, we're not interested in this wedding, we keep being told we're interested, and we're not. Mm -hmm. And I think we have, there is a potential audience out there, if we get the arguments right, if we get the discourse right, who will actually warm to the fact that, you know, these are arguments that, are, that haven't been made in the past. And that, we are, we, and that we are modern and we're not being incredibly rude or offensive, but we have a very good political argument. And in fact, there isn't any argument on the other side. What's on the other side is a lot of emotional nonsense about nationhood and all of that. But we do have the arguments. So I think we can go from the wedding into the Jubilee with a, a lot of confidence. So thank you for listening. <laughs>